All right, everyone, we have to have a little bit of a chuckle at Justin Trudeau's expense. Uh, l let me uh, say this. If Justin Trudeau were to come out and sing Mammy, like, your little sunny boy, sort of, st I, I would find it funny. I'm not politically correct. That being said, when people who are on the left, when people who are like, you know, they're in favor of political correctness, are exposed as having done things in the past that were vastly politically incorrect, like Northam, like Virginia Governor Northam, he was in blackface hanging out with someone in a Klan costume, you know, back in school, back in his college days. And I think, didn't their third in command, he had, he was like, yes, yeah, so I put blackface on too, by the way. You know, it's not a big deal, though, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Dixieland, so it's okay. For Justin Trudeau to have done this is only amusing because he's on the left. It, it makes it funny. The funny thing is, though, looking at, like, the woke squad, people who are, like, uh, can you imagine it like imagine if there was a high school photo of me in blackface, which by the way there's not um, What do you think would happen? Don't you think there would be deplatforming raids? Don't you and, and I'm not even in elected office like I'm just a youtuber There'd be deplatforming raids. There'd be people writing hit pieces. Jared Holt would cream himself Can you imagine if Trump you know back you know in the 80s or something like let's say that, that Trump uh, Actually did drink once back in the 80s and he got fucked up and he put on a Klan costume don't you think that the calls for impeachment would be severe? There'd be a million people out in the uh, White House lawn demanding it. They would pretty much shut down the machinations of D.C. until it happened. They'd probably be successful. But there's no significant serious talk of Trudeau having to step aside despite the fact that he did the same thing. Now, what he's saying as well is a costume. I was a little bit too much into costuming back then. By the way, why is he even fucking apologizing, dude? In the context of the early 2000s, the idea of blackface, which is like not even a thing when you're just fucking dressed up, I guess, as a, an Indian fortune teller or something, who gives a fucking goddamn shit? The whole point is that the PC crowd looks at old shit from a decade or two decades or three decades ago and applies modern thought, which is, you know, it's a minority thought anyway. The social justice warrior pink-haired people are just the vocal minority. They're a tiny fringe. They just happen to be very vocal, and they have a lot of corporate backers, and they try to make people's lives difficult. These people look back and dig for dirty laundry through people's history in order to try to start problems because they have nothing better to do with their lives. They're losers, in other words. Nobody, I, I like, uh, some people are saying, well, <clears throat> it's funny, ha-ha, people on the right now calling for his impeachment. Look, they believe in political correctness. I'm not going to call for the dude's impeachment. I'll ironically mock him as though he should be, though, because by his own standards, if one of his conservative opponents had something like this happen, he would be one of the people saying it's unacceptable and he should step down. Don't you fucking understand that? It's a double standard. It's hypocrisy. That's the whole problem. I don't care if the dude comes out today in blackface and does the sugar shuffle live on stage. It doesn't fucking matter. When people, when people are like politically incorrect or saying, what do you think the backbone of comedy is? It's taboo. It's just supposed to make people gasp. It's supposed to surprise them and shock them and offend them. That's why it becomes funny. The offended, you know, r result of that is th the funny part. The butt of the joke is the audience in some cases. That's the, the basis of comedy. When he's there and it looks like he's like, you know, Chardonnay eyed in this picture, by the way, he's a li it looks like he was a little intoxicated. He's got his hand on a certain region uh, of the person next to him. It's like, you know, it's schmoozing 20 something Justin Trudeau. He was having a good time. The fucking, like, what? He was in college at the time or something or not far out of it. He was a young dude, just enjoying himself. Probably had one too many drinks, thought it was hilarious. Okay. Who gives a fucking shit? But the thing is, it's so fucking hilarious. 20 years ago, this happens. And if it were somebody who were considered conservative or, or considered, you know, not leftist, or they're not in favor of political correctness and shit, they'd already be, they already would have been forced to resign. Now, the only reason that I can possibly support something like that is let's say that someone's like a televangelist and they do something crazy, like when Ted Haggart, who was like, well, gay is not okay, and then it turned out he was sleeping with a gay prostitute. Okay, the mock away into platform away, because then it's, it's no longer just, it's no longer hypocrisy. It's exploiting irony and teaching someone a fucking lesson who's claiming to be like the arbiter of Jesus and God. A little bit different, but Trudeau, standard politician, wishy-washy leftist, just like a hobbit-faced dude. He was, he was riding the Obama train of, of popularity politics as opposed to platform politics. Who cares? I, I mean, you know, he wore a turban and put on brown face or whatever you'd like to call it. Of course it's politically incorrect by modern standards. 
Dude, people did shit like that. Like, that stuff was on TV back in the early 2000s. Nobody... You're talking about the Jackass era, dude. You're talking about Jackass and Howard Stern and Beavis and Butthead era. Nobody gave a fucking shit. Trust me, I was old enough at the time to sort of understand these things. People were looking for excuses. People were looking for reasons to offend one another as a sort of national pastime for some years. The early 2000s were an interesting time. Leads directly to the development of all the wonderful technology we're using now that used to be full of that cool shit, and now it's all being pushed offline, deplatformed, and shoved aside into alt tech, which is why alt tech is the place to be. So yeah, the only reason I yeah we should definitely uh, call for Trudeau's impeachment just because he's a hypocrite. You know, if it were if it were someone else, he'd have a good time calling them out for exactly the same thing. You uh, you know it, I know it. He would be on the forefront, especially if it were a Canadian. If it were one of his fellow Canadian politicians, he'd say this is unacceptable and unbecoming. This person cannot possibly continue to occupy this office, this very astute and solemn. Uh, responsibility of being in a position of political power requires people that have an un uncheckered history. They must be squeaky clean. So they can't embezzle money from uh, the Chinese like Trudeau and his people did, and they can't have worn a costume, you know, 20 years ago. Ha <laughs> ha. Humorless fucks. That's about all. Peace out.